Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video, and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Development teams and organizations are always looking for ways to automate, streamline, and improve processes related to building software. SharePoint framework development teams are really no different. This process usually brings together development and operations into a practice that's commonly called DevOps. And the idea is to, to continuously provide value to customers. Now, DevOps is comprised of many different practices and components. And one aspect of DevOps is continuous integration and continuous delivery, otherwise known as CI and CD. In this chapter, you're gonna learn how to incorporate CI and CD practices into your SharePoint framework projects using two very popular services, GitHub Actions and Azure Pipelines. So what exactly are we gonna cover in this module? Well, I'm gonna start out with a brief introduction on what is DevOps. And we're not gonna to go too deep into this, but we need to have kind of like a full landscape to see the piece that we're gonna be looking at. And that specifically is continuous integration and continuous delivery. That's the one aspect that we're gonna focus on in this chapter. The SharePoint framework also can take advantage of continuous integration and continuous delivery in uh, practices uh, in your projects. Now, we're gonna look and see what that means in a SharePoint framework project before we go about implementing it. And then we're gonna go into two different directions. I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can take advantage of CI and CD practices inside your SharePoint framework projects. One way is using GitHub Actions. And I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about what GitHub Actions are, how they work and the main components to it. And then we're gonna see how we can go about uh, in a demo um, in taking an existing SharePoint framework project that we have built previously in the class that's filled with unit tests and React components and such like that. And we're gonna see how to package up that project, to bundle it, uh, to build everything, generate the SharePoint framework uh, artifact package that we need for deployment. We're also gonna see how to run all of our tests. And assuming all of that stuff works and is still green, I'm then gonna show you how we can go about deploying it, but not just deploying it to one environment. We're gonna see how we can deploy it based on different conditions into different environments like dev or staging or even production if you wanted to have an automated rollout to production. Now, after we look at GitHub Actions, we're gonna then pivot and we're gonna look at how to do the exact same thing using Azure DevOps and a specific piece of Azure DevOps called multi-stage pipelines. Now, we're gonna go through the exact same process that we go through with GitHub Actions. We're gonna see in Azure Pipelines what are Azure Pipelines all about? What are the high level components that DevOps and Azure Pipelines are gonna give us? And then we're gonna dive into a demo and take that exact same project and we're gonna implement the exact same scenario that we did with GitHub Actions. We're gonna do that same thing and implement it with Azure Pipelines. Now, I wanna quickly have a, a word about context before we go too deep into this chapter. Most of the stuff that we're gonna cover here is applicable to really all SharePoint. SharePoint 2016, SharePoint 2019, SharePoint Online. But I'm not gonna focus or really spend too much time on the SharePoint Online story here. The two pieces that we are gonna be able to automate is the build and the testing uh, part, but we won't be able to do the deployment stuff on SharePoint 2016. There are no APIs for doing deployment on SharePoint 2016, so we can't automate it. SharePoint 2019 does have the ability to do that. Um, but we're not gonna focus on that. We're gonna focus on SharePoint Online. And furthermore, we're really gonna only focus on the online version of these services, like GitHub Actions and Azure DevOps uh, and Azure Pipelines. There are on-prem installs for some of these different products that have varying degrees of capabilities, but we're not gonna focus on those. This chapter is gonna be all about the online experience. I'm gonna focus on SharePoint Online, I'm gonna focus on GitHub Actions that is inside the hosted implementation of GitHub. And I'm gonna focus on Azure DevOps uh, pipelines, which is in the Azure DevOps services, the hosted version of Azure DevOps. We're not gonna look at the on-prem stuff. So it's not that you can't do that stuff. It's just that 
every single on-prem scenario is so very unique and so very different that it's just impossible to cover it for in any amount of depth. But you should be able to take what you learn here and apply it to on-prem store the on-prem story um, if that's what your situation entails. So let's dive into the first section and talking about implementing DevOps and specifically continuous integration and continuous delivery with SharePoint framework projects.